Welcome back to another crypto video. Hello, ladies and gents. We're going to check out Pancake Swap today. And Pancake is one that, if you got on with very early, you would pretty much be set up for early retirement. And I know someone that literally, whilst I was out in the Philippines, he got involved in Pancake Swap when it was below a dollar, when the APY was hundreds of percent. And every day he was telling me how it felt like he had his own virtual money printer um literally he was making hundreds if not thousands of dollars a day just waking up and unstaking his passive income now it doesn't really feel the same it doesn't have the same benefit anymore now the project has already exponentially grown and the apy has dropped and it's already corrected so hard we're not really seeing the same kind of results and i suppose with this video i want to show you why you're not really going to make money anymore with passive income on pan pancake swap but also there's only a very, very small window of opportunity to actually make money with the staking now. And the answer to that is very simple, which you will find out soon. And before we do get into that, do smash the subscribe button, guys. Hit the sub button, leave a thumbs up, comment down below. And um, yeah, massive thanks to patrons. So what we're going to look at is PancakeSwap. If you don't know what that is, it's a DEX, which is a decentralized exchange. And it's going to keep asking me to do this. And um, PancakeSwap itself is an automated market maker. So if we have a look at the, let's have a look at some of the pools here. So what you can do is you'll connect effectively your wallet, like your Binance wallet or MetaMask or something. And the USD you have there, you'll go to the exchange platform here and you'll convert your USD into pancakes, which is the native currency. And once you get that native currency, you go to the pools. And for example, you can stake your cakes that you converted your USD into on the decentralized exchange and you can stake the cake for an APY of 63% and that's a native token so that's their particular token and it's auto compounding so it'll automatically stake that for you and every day or whenever you want to claim it and yield it you are able to take that cake back and you could even convert that cake back into US dollars and then send it to the exchange and actually withdraw it for real cash if you really wanted to so what we're going to look at is I suppose we're gonna look at two different scenarios and you can see this on the spreadsheet over here. So one of them is, let's try and uh, make this smaller. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, let's try and work with this. So one of the scenarios is, let's just move this over a little bit. My bad, I should have prepared. So basically we're gonna look at two different scenarios of getting into pancake swap. Let's say scenario one, we got in at $20 in May and we held all the way to 29 January, around 250 something days. So what you would have had is a cake price of $20, investment of 1,000, you'd have got 50 pancakes for that. That's pretty good. I mean, you can eat for a lot of days, 50 pancakes. Days held, you hold it for 256 days. Oops, I got that number wrong. Or was it 235? It is 235, I just got this entry wrong. So it was around around here, so around 235 days. So you bought in June and you've held to today. What would happen, you get got that 60% APY. Every day you'd be getting 0.082 pancakes and you know the average price would have come down. Um, the average price comes down to around $15. And what would happen is you'd have lost money on the value of the initial investment so the value of the initial investment would have been $400 and the yield income from staking every single day with the average price being $15, you would have only made $289. So you'd be down $310 in that particular instance. Um, so that's the way I'm seeing it. If you entered there, you'd be very much down in money. If you entered at 40, you'd be down on your money. If you entered at 26, you'd still be down on your money. Um, so what we need to look for is these windows of golden opportunity. And I think we may potentially be at one. And it's it does require speculation and a bit of hope and belief that we are gonna see a bounce to the upside. But let's say we, we held this pancake for another 235 days. Let's say we bought it today. So we buy a pancake, for seven dollars complete bargain compared to what we've seen retrospectively so we buy it today we get 142 pancakes we could probably make them last a whole year you know that's a lot of pancakes days held 235 so we're getting a better apy now as we just saw on their website we're getting 63 percent 
well, uh, when I checked that out, it was 66. So we'll work with 66. The cake per day you'd be receiving is 0.25. Um, and the average price over the days, we're going to assume goes up to about 12, should we say $12? $12 seems like a realistic um, pump over the time because that's the resistance level. So we, we come up making a 71% increase. So what happens is you've got the average price over the days you'd have made $705 yield from the actual passive cakes. Um, and then the value of the initial investment would have also been $1,704. So what would have happened is your original 142 cakes would now be worth $1,704. And from the yield, the passive income from the state, you would have received um, I mean, we could quickly check from the actual passive. So that's 235 days times 0 0.25, 58 pancakes there with an average dollar price of around 12. So yeah, 705. So you would receive $705 worth of pancakes for free for doing nothing. And also the value of the investment, the 142 would have gone up. So you'd be up $1,409. Assuming you bought today, and assuming that this is that window of opportunity, which only happens every so often, there's only a few places in the market cycle where you're going to get that golden window of opportunity. Maybe it could be here, just like it was also here to here. And obviously, back in March 21 was another golden window of opportunity. So that's what I mean. Um, is this another particular golden opportunity? And that's what I'm trying to kind of speculate today, because I do think Pancake is a fantastic platform. And I think if you do buy it today, you could effectively make some good money in the future, but it's still very risky. And I think 90 plus percent of people are actually going to lose money on this project because they don't time it correctly. They go all in. They don't dollar cost average. They buy at the wrong time. Um, and then you get these massive corrections, which invalidate not only your initial investment, but also the APY that you're receiving is now worthless. So yes, pancake. What I can see, looking at the pricing, is no, I'm, I'm hopeful that we're going to see a nice bounce back soon. So, Pancake is seven dollars thirty-one, rank six two, two billion um, dollar market cap. The tokenomics of the coin do kind of suck, to be honest, and I don't think it's doing any favors. The value against Bitcoin is continuously dropping, time and time again. Um, so we can see over thirty days we're down thirty-eight percent. Over the seven days we're down ten percent. Now, what I am seeing on this daily time frame is that we are getting a nice bit of a support over here at this 6-7 level. It looks like we've bottomed in on the RSI. We're down to 30 RSI, and we're under that 20-day moving average on the EMAs. Um, so if we hop into that 4-hour over here, guys, you can see that is pretty much a descending triangle. Um, pretty much a descending triangle. It looks very, very accurate. And usually we break to the downside, but I'd like to see a bounce to the upside in the next few days. Um, we can see the next level of resistance over here would be around $11. Of course, the one before that would be the top of the falling, um, the bear pen, which looks like more of a descending uh, wedge, descending triangle. And if we do break out, we come back up to $8.84, which would be really, really good to see. We're pretty neutral on the RSI at the moment. So this could be that golden window. This could be that window of opportunity for Pancake if you want to yield and hold for a long time. I'm talking about 200 days or something like that. Um, and I am even tempted to put some in myself, actually, because of this very unique moment. Um, just need to hope that it doesn't lose support here because it could come down, guys. Remember, this coin started at literally 10 cents. So it being $7 is still phenomenal gains. So that's what you need to be careful of. Maybe we're going to get the breakout, but we could easily see a trend reversal on the way back down. Personally, for me, I am probably not going to put money into PancakeSwap anymore. I think I had fun with it when I was young and I'm not seeing those same big APYs that get me excited anymore. What I'm seeing is just bad tokenomics and constant value lost against Bitcoin. So that's why I'm personally going to stay away from it. And if I do put money in, it's going to be a very small amount just to see if I was correct. <laughs> um, so that's about it, really. That's about it with Pancake Swap. So I think personally, I'm not really going to make money here, guys. Unfortunately, um, only the very small few will be capitalizing good 
money on this particular project um so yeah that's about it before i leave do make sure you smash that subscribe button leave a comment down below also massive thank you to the patrons my peter alpcara jordan barber you've really helped so far uh, if you do want to become a patron you can find that in the description below you can also join the discord um so please join the discord we've got a nice little community going on and also you'll get that free ebook should you become a patron so that's about it guys Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a smashing day. Make sure you go get some sunshine. Stay safe.